welcome to mission three of this squadron campaign. Target for this mission is going to be the Elberfield ball bearing plant. It's a medium priority target with only moderate defenses, but it's been identified as a bottleneck industry, should be destroyed as soon as possible. Here it is on the map, just south of Essen. Let's assign it as the primary target. So we're going to fly in across France and Belgium and go over the target west to east. Then we'll egress and do a circuit north out away from the flak here. I'm going to move these waypoints to try to minimize the time I spend in the flak. And from there we'll be able to fly over towards the Netherlands and back to home base. Let's pick a secondary target and we'll go with the Solingen airframe factory, which is close by. Let's choose the planes for this mission. And these planes are on rotation. So the top six planes fly one mission and the bottom six the next. But Mother and Country here is still damaged from its previous run. So we'll send out Bub, which I know is in tip top working condition. Let's try out the general purpose 500 pound bombs and we'll take some incendiaries as well. That's the planning completed. Mission date is 16th of February 1945. Let's go check out the reconnaissance of the primary target. nice clear recon it's quite a small target area let's have a look at it in more detail We've got a row of buildings on the right hand side a second cluster in the middle and then a kind of area of miscellaneous assets on the left hand side there we're all set to go let's start the mission I'm controlling the lead plane from our squadron today, the Berlin Express. I've taxied to the runway. The other B-17s are queuing up behind. You are cleared for takeoff. I've spent a bit of time warming up the engines before I take off and they're just about in the right temperature range now in the amber zone around 61 to 62 degrees. Mission time is 0740 hours, Berlin Express rolling. All of the planes are now up and we're heading towards our first waypoint, southeast to Dunkirk, climbing to 21 and a half thousand feet as we go. Looks like a very cloudy day over France and Belgium today. We've just made landfall over Dunkirk, time to head across Belgium to the decision point at Liège. Here we are, we've made it to Liège. Time to head in towards the target area, crossing into the Luftwaffe patrol zone and over the front line. 
currently flying in the cloud layer so I'm going to drop altitudes maybe 500 feet or so to get below this top layer of cloud let's get the weather forecast over target Okay, so we should have good visibility over the target. I have changed my approach vector to be southwest to northeast. And what I'll do is I'll leave the initial point at 21,500 feet. And we'll do the bomb run at that altitude. Aachen is somewhere under cloud there off our 12 o'clock. We're in the Luftwaffe patrol zone and we do have bandits inbound. Formation of four 190s. They are co out and fairly close, I think. The 190s are coming straight for us, so it's into the chin turret and let's defend the plane. Escort fighters have also engaged. Got a few hits there, and yeah, he's smoking. I think we got a couple of hits there and he's smoking as well. Coming back in for a second attack run. Looks like I've taken a hit to one of my engines, it's smoking heavily. Okay, he's down. It's engine one that is smoking. I've tried to use the fire extinguisher, but it had no effect. So I think the engine is just damaged. Looking at the dials, it doesn't look too badly damaged. There is a fuel leak from fuel tank number one as well. So I think we may just have to manage the fuel leak and everything else seems to be fairly stable at the moment temperatures are all checking out okay looks like the AI is managing the temperature in engine one by increasing the cow flaps a little bit more Got flak coming up now as we approach the initial point for the bomb run.
given it's a relatively small target I'm going to reduce the bomb release time interval down to 375 milliseconds and let's get a fix on the drift the plane is getting knocked around a lot by the flak notwithstanding that it looks like we have about positive six on the drift dial the bomber deer has gone with negative 8.9 so I'll just increase that a little bit to negative six plane is taking a bit of a hammering from the flak the tail has been shredded it's not helping the stability of the plane as we approach the target into the bombardier's position and we can see we're a bit off going to reposition the bomb site oh we've got a fire on the flight deck let's deal with this I'll send the turret gunner into the flight deck to extinguish the fire fire out plane is drifting right off target so I've repositioned back to the center point that I want to aim for Nice clear view of the target now and the plane seems to be holding steady. Looks like we're going to hit cloud just before the bombs are released. I think we're still on track. The bombs are out in three, two, one. Let's see how we did here. Bomb drop looks good. We've managed to wipe out all of the buildings in this area of the target location. Quite a difficult target to hit though because the buildings are spread out. Got the row of buildings on the right hand side here that we hit. But then there's a second row of buildings in the middle that we didn't hit. Probably should have gone north-south over the target rather than west to east. Time to egress and I'm just hoping that engine one holds up for long enough to get us back to base. Time is now 10.26 hours, we've reached the Netherlands, the eastern side of Islamir, from where we can vector for home base.
11.53 hours we've made it back to a very cloudy home base here at Ridgewell. Engine 1 of the Berlin Express is still going strong. It's time to bring the planes in to land. I'm on the final approach to land in the Berlin Express. Plane is handling quite well considering the damage to the tail. Definitely going to be a bit of work for the mechanics to do to fix this plane up before it flies again. There we go, safe touchdown. The rest of the planes in my squadron have made it down safely. Last one in is the Chow Hound here. Makes a good landing. Let's get the debrief on this mission. 16th of February 1945, we attacked the primary target, which was the Elberfields ball bearing plant. Didn't lose any bombers from our squadron, shot down three enemy fighters and totally destroyed the target. A few crew members have picked up injuries and there have been three fatalities. RIP Copeland, Grund and Mayer. I'll have to bring in some new recruits to replace those crew members. I think the red circle on this bomb damage assessment represents the center of the target. So we can see that we were a bit off center with our bomb drop and wiped out the assets in the lower right portion of the target location. Let's check out the post mission recon. We can see the blackened charred buildings and the ones we hit. Let's have a look at it in a bit more detail. And yes, we can see the buildings we destroyed were in the bottom right portion of the target location. There's still a lot of assets in the middle and the left hand side to go for. That's mission three completed. Many thanks for watching and see you next time.